now I'm going to implement this make transaction link close this browser to stop debugging and close this one and go to home controller here after this index action method here let's specify the wallet tra make transaction action method let's create a view right click at the middle of this action method and click add view and click add it will generate the default make transaction view inside this home folder here it is this make transaction select all by pressing ctrl a and delete everything by pressing backspace and here we need to specify our html and jquery code let's paste it here you will find this code in my source code what you already downloaded here this is the fields of text box let's run this application to see the page view this is blockchain front end this is blockchain client this two project is running in my Chrome browser. Minimize the block plain front end. Click make transaction this link to see this make transaction view. This is the view you can see send coins and the few text fields to insert the value to generate transaction especially the signature here sender address you can see this is masked with the view what we have seen after clicking this generate transaction what will happen so if we click generate transaction after inserting all the values this ajax function will be invoked here you can see generate transaction this api this api belongs to this api blockchain client controller so this will invoke this new transaction so specify debug point here and this generate slash transaction and the response what will give will be shown will be showed in the model window this is the model here the response of the transaction with signature will be displayed here let's go to blockchain client and here let's specify the miners public key let's find out this miners public key and private key i already saved miners public key here copy this one this is belongs to this miners public key only this miner has 50 coins and paste this public key here and copy this private key and paste it here and let's get another public key of another user copy this one any user you can select this is belongs to Bob just imagine let's right click wallet generator now creating new user public key and private key copy this public key and paste it here and the amount will be 20 and minus fee 0 click generate transaction after clicking generate transaction what will happen it will invoke this API and here we are passing this information sender private public key receiver address everything you can see here 
hover over this transaction you can see all the value whatever we passed from our view page this is private key and this is the wallet app web wallet app and here it will generate the signature after going through the RSC class library here you can see this function is responsible to generate this signature this is belongs to RSA class library here we are passing the private key and the message is all transaction information here you can see all the value is exist in this message and after after using this private key this function will generate a signature So this is the signature here this value contains all the fields whatever user passed click step into step into this response will be thrown in the Ajax and this is displayed in the model go to view here you can see this code already executed this is sender address, receiver address and everything already displayed in the model. This model showed up and this whole information here you cannot see any private key only the signature. This whole information will be hit in this API click confirm transaction and this whole information will be hit the open blockchain api this is receiver address after clicking confirm transaction what will happen let's go to here and you can see this ajax function will invoke and here you can see the path will be this form data will be placed here and this form information will be hit in transaction new this api belongs to our blockchain front end project so this is the url we already specified and this is the minor and this is the blockchain front end so this is the url path let's scroll up expand this blockchain front end project click this blockchain controller inside api folder and this new transaction api will be invoked place a debug point here and here you can see let's click confirm transaction now you can see this API invoked let's see the all value you can see there is no private key here you can see only the signature and this signature contains all other information and it will be verified in the blockchain this is amount 20 and this is the signature you can see this is your address and sender address is the miners public key and this is users the receiver public key this information whatever we passed from our model view so let's step into to see what happened here first it will come to verify this transaction here passing the transaction step into this is public key of the miner and original message is the transaction information 
amount receiver address sender address everything and this is signed message and it will go to this rsa project of this rsa.cs file and it will come to this verify function and here this message will be verified using the public key of the miner and it's returning true that means this signature and this whole transaction is verified and now it will check the balance the user has balance or not meaning this user has enough coin to send to another user it will come to this function and it will go through each block in the blockchain and it will go to all the transaction and try to find out all the transaction made by this sender address so looping through all the block and it will try to find out all the transaction belongs to this owner address this owner address is miners public key step into couple of times here you can see all the transaction already returning only one transaction because there is only one block and there is only one transaction until now so let's step into so this couple of codes will verify the balance of this miner let's step into here you can see transaction amount is 20 so the balance should be greater than 20 coin to make this transaction and the balance is 50 so balance greater than the transaction amount plus transaction fee so this is also valid so this user already has balance to send coin so it's this function will be invoked at transaction and it will add the transaction so this is the transaction we are passing and step into this will add the transaction and this code will not execute because this sender and node id exactly the same user so miner cannot send the transaction fee by itself this is the rule of this cryptocurrency so click step into transaction already added and this transaction will be added in the block index 0 that means block number 1 Oh, sorry block index 1 and it will add to the block number 2 so that transaction will be added to the block number 2 let's click coinbase you can see there is only 2 1 block I believe because this transaction is still not added to the blockchain we need to mine this unconfirmed transaction so here you can see transaction successful click ok and go to blockchain make transaction this piece of code executed that means form text box is empty and this model are already hidden and the successful model showed up this is the successful model what we have seen 
this is the blockchain client refresh this transaction to see the unconfirmed transaction here you can see this address got 20 coin from the miner this is the random user let's mine this unconfirmed transaction refresh this x once again let's click mine so this transaction already mined and added to the block number two you can see this address got 20 coins and this miner received 50 coins as reward